Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Sheer Smokes. And you join me here in the grounds of the pineapple just outside Earth. Uh, now I've done a, a video before on the pineapple, where I go into a bit more of the uh, the history. But just to give you a quick uh, a quick recap, the uh, the building itself was built as a summer house, and it was first built in 1761. And it wasn't until 1777 that the actual pineapple was added. And it was built for uh, John Murray, who was the then Earl of Dunmore. And uh, John Murray was actually the governor of Virginia. And when he came back to the UK, he settled here in Scotland. And uh, as I say, built this um, summer house in his uh, grounds. And uh, now back in the day, obviously pineapples were very rare. And uh, if you were able to have a pineapple, then it was a sign of great wealth. So to be able to put uh, a stone pineapple on top of your summer house, not even your, your own permanent residence, but a summer house, uh, this shows you um, the status that John Murray uh, held himself in, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a lovely spot with the, with the grounds and uh, a great place to come and enjoy a bowl. It's also a great location to try out a new toy of mine. Uh, my daughter Katie uh, got me this for my Christmas and uh, this is the first time um, I've been able to use it uh, due to the weather and also um, it can only work off a certain phone, which my phone's not uh, <laughs> uh, new enough I suppose, uh, being an Android. Um, but uh, thanks to Katie, she, will, she was able to set me up with one of her old phones and uh, managed to get it all calibrated and organised and uh, here's some interesting footage um, using that. So some nice footage there, uh, using the drone, which is uh, brilliant. It just gives you a great, uh, or different vantage point, and a different perspective on the, the pineapple itself. Unfortunately, I couldn't reach the top of the pineapple. I'd have liked to have done that, but uh, unfortunately my Wi-Fi uh, wasn't strong enough to, to give me that enough control over the drone. But um, I'm pretty happy for a first-time use uh, in the footage that I managed to get, and uh, hopefully in the next coming videos I'll be able to use it a bit more uh, depending where I am. Uh, but this is a definitely a great spot to uh, to try it out and uh, yeah, really happy with the with the results. Um but even just coming here as I said at the beginning, it's just uh, it's a nice tranquil spot. Um I know I, I like to be by the river, by the water, but uh, 
yeah, this is the next best thing, and it's probably one of my uh, favourite buildings in the in the wee county of ours. I was actually meeting with a friend of mine, Mark, uh, earlier on this morning. Uh, Mark, you may remember from uh, past uh, videos, we did the uh, Black Ness Castle together. Uh, so, so we had a good catch up um, over a over a pot of tea, and um, when we said our goodbyes, I thought. I'll just take a chance and took a drive up to here, and it's only ten minutes from uh, ten minutes drive from where we met um, for a coffee at Kincardine. Um, so it's just, as I always say, it's always great to have these locations on your on your doorstep. And um, now that we're coming into the slightly better weather, um, yeah, hope to be visiting much more. So in my last video, um, I spoke about uh, the oncoming snow. Um, thankfully, it didn't uh, materialise as uh, as bad as we thought it was. Uh, there was some snow um, out where I work uh, by Falkirk. There was a little bit of a fall, but uh, in where I live, um, it was mainly on the hills. And uh, here's a shot just to show you that. So yeah, I think it was mainly the north of England and uh, sort of further highlands of Scotland that maybe got um, slightly deeper snow, but um, thankfully um, for us uh, it didn't come to anything, so hopefully it's going to stay stay that way uh, so I can get out and about on my on my days off. Um, today being my last day off, uh, back to work tomorrow. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's nice to be back at the pineapple and uh, the pipe I have with me today is my Savinelli cocktail with the fishtail stem. Uh, there'll be a close-up shot uh, later in the video. And in the bowl, the tobacco I've gone for is uh, becoming a firm favourite of mine at this time of day. It's the Peter Stockaby Morning Blend. And uh, as I say, on a day like this, when it's been a nice crisp morning, there's a bit of flurry of snow um, earlier on. Um, yeah, but it's a tasty. Um, outdoor smoke. So come early April, I'm heading down to London for a few days with uh, the girlfriend Elaine and I've picked out some fantastic cigar lounges to visit. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to grab some footage and share it with you at a later date. Uh, before that though, I'm off to Glasgow on Saturday. A friend of mine that I met through Instagram and um, through the joy of cigars uh, has invited me to stag do and uh, one on to that is wedding uh, in the April, so very much looking forward to that. We're going to be hitting the Dakota Hotel, which has a really nice cigar terrace in Glasgow. Um, so hopefully I'll grab some shots of the cigars that we're smoking that day. Um, I've got a few places lined up for the end of the month, um, location-wise, and hopefully the weather will be in my favour, and uh, again I can share those um, with you. I um, picked up a couple of new subscribers in the past week, which is, uh, which is always great to see. Um, so thank you guys for, for tuning in. Uh, as always, thanks to everybody for watching and uh, for that core of people that are always there in the comments. Um, I was a bit slower this week in replying, uh, mainly because work's been so hectic. Uh, but I do try to get back to you as, uh, as quick as I can. Um, but yeah, it's uh, always great to read the comments. Um, and uh, I very much look forward to that. Um, so thanks again for uh, taking the time uh, to do so. Um, but as I said, it's time now just to have a quiet, quiet bowl, enjoy the bird song, and uh, enjoy the day. So with that in mind, uh, enjoy the rest of this week. Have a great weekend when it comes. And as always, my name's Sheila. Enjoy your smokes.